Hello students, how are you? Today we will do multiple choice questions from your mathematics book related to perimeter and area. So here a triangle is given whose sides are 5 cm, 8 cm and 7 cm. So we have to find the perimeter of this triangle. So here four answers are given. We have to choose the correct answer. So we already know that perimeter is equal to sum of all sides. So sum of all sides is 5 cm plus 7 cm plus 8 cm is equal to 20 cm. So out of these answers correct answer is B. So we will mark take against answer B. Here a figure is given whose perimeter is 22 meters and length of 4 sides of this figure is given. We have to find the length of 5th side. Here 4 answers are given. We will choose the correct answer. So let's start. Sum of given sides is equal to 4 meters plus 6 meters plus 3 meters plus 6 meters. So it is equal to 19 meters. So to find the fifth side of the given figure, we will subtract sum of given sides from the perimeter. So perimeter is 22 meters minus 19 meters is equal to 3 meters. So correct answer is B that is 3 meters. Here a square is given whose length is 5 cm. So we know that all sides of square are equal. So length of every side is 5 cm. So we have to find the perimeter of this square. Here four answers are given. We will choose the correct answer. We already know that perimeter is equal to sum of all sides. So sum of all sides of this square is 5 cm plus 5 cm plus 5 cm plus 5 cm. It is equal to 20 cm. So out of these answers which answer is correct? C. So we will put tick against C that is 20 cm. Now a rectangle is given with length of 5 cm and breadth. 4 centimeters. So here we will find the perimeter of this rectangle. 4 answers are given. We will choose the correct answer. So we know that perimeter is equal to sum of all sides. So sum of all sides of this rectangle is 5 centimeters plus 4 centimeters plus 5 centimeters plus 4 centimeters. It is equal to 18 centimeters. So out of these which answer is correct? D. So we will put tick against D that is 18 centimeters. So here four different figures are given. We have to find the area of every figure and we will see that which figure has the maximum area. So to find the area we know that length of each side of every square is 1 centimeters. So, the area of every square is 1 square centimeters. So, to find the total area of figure, we will count the number of squares in every figure. So, the figure with maximum number of squares will have the maximum area. So, the number of squares in first figure are 31. Number of squares in B figure are 24. Number of squares in C figure are 26 and number of squares in D figure are 36. So the maximum number of squares are in, are in which figure? D. So our correct answer is A that is D. Next question. A square is given whose side is 6 cm. So we have to find the area of this square. 
here four answers are given we will choose the correct answer so we know that area of a square is equal to side multiplied by side so for this we will multiply 6 cm by 6 cm which is equal to 36 square centimeters so out of these answers which answer is correct b that is 36 square centimeters hope you have understood how to solve the multiple choice questions now you will solve the remaining questions in your notebooks for your homework thank you